Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, right? Uh, that's Galatians 5, 16. Very powerful verse. Very, um, there's a lot there, right, that you need to think about. But I want to first give the backdrop to why that verse is so important. Guys, my name is Keith Peterson and um, I want to, sh this is a devotion. I want to motivate you to, to get closer to God, motivate myself. These devotions are more for myself than for anybody else, right? All right, guys. So uh, let me say a quick prayer. Father, please speak to us through this study in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, right. So walk in the spirit. Why is that important? Well, before I answer that question, I want to say this, right? That um, God gives you the Holy Spirit if you accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? What is the gospel of Jesus Christ? It's, it's the good news of what God has done for the world, right? God has saved the world. Very important to understand. God has already saved the world, right? And if you look at the Great Commission, right? God tells the disciples, go out into all the world to basically do what? Spread the gospel. Baptizing and also, also baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? I don't want to go into what baptism means, but baptism is basically this. So when you hear the gospel, right? Then you have to make a decision. Will you accept the gospel or reject it, right? So baptism is basically saying, okay, I, I accept the gospel. I accept what God has done for me through Jesus Christ. What that means is, that you now obediently, um, you now accept that you have been crucified with Christ. You died with Him. What, you, what, what, what has died? Your old history, that Adamic life, the sinful, the sinful, the, the, the life that you were born with, that sinful nature, the, the, the old man, whatever you want to call it, right? That has died with Jesus Christ. You agree and you accept that. You also accept that you're now resurrected with Christ. So you identify with his resurrection, that in Christ you have a new identity, a new history, a new purpose, whatever, right? Sanctified, holy, all of that. In other words, the old has passed away and all has become brand new. You identify with that, you accept that. So, so basically, that's the good news, that's the gospel, you accept that. So if you accept that, not just a mental ascent, not just I agree with the gospel message, but you accept it, you, you, you give yourself to that, right? Right. Now God gives you the Holy Spirit, the life of Christ. And by giving you the Holy Spirit, God empowers you now to walk after him, to follow after him. Now, quick thing, let me go back, right? Before accepting the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? Before becoming a follower of Jesus Christ, we were sinners, right? Sin of us. And sin is a terrible thing. Sin is, is basically selfishness. It's a predisposition, right? An inclination that only wants to gratify self, gratify self, right? Think about it. what is lying, stealing, adultery, covetousness, all of these things, right? It's at its core selfishness. It's about me. It's about what I want. Does it make sense? The generic I, the generic me, right? Kind of thing. That's what it is at its core. If you look at Romans chapter 7, right? It, it talks about this. It talks about this this uh self-love this this predisposition to gratifying self okay and how that in your own strength you cannot overcome it you cannot why because of the law of sin the law of sin is more powerful than us we are born with it it's, it's powerful it, it cannot it cannot be subdued you can do it for a short while but eventually it, it takes over right think about it. how many times have you done something like why did i do that or say something like why did i say that right why is it? Why Why do we do the things that we do that's so crazy? Why is the world such a mess? Because of sin. We're born with it, right? Now, when you accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, right, this is then uh, God gives you the Holy Spirit, the life of Christ. And now this, the Holy Spirit is more powerful than the law of sin. And God empowers you now to follow after him, to do what he says, right? Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, Outside of receiving the Holy Spirit, we cannot do this. The world cannot produce the agape love of God. It is impossible. Right? Yes, you can have you can be a person that has a good character. You can work hard at yourself and all of that. But at its core, what you are doing is motivated and driven by self. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? It's not... You're not being influenced. You're not being... Let me say influence to do what's best for others for the sake of that. You're not influenced by agape love. Does it make sense? 
Agape love means unconditional love, God's love. It's not other focused. Now don't misunderstand me what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you shouldn't focus on taking care of yourself and loving yourself and all of that. But when the Holy Spirit is introducing to your life, essentially what's happening now is that you're putting God first. And by loving God first, you, you, this is where true happiness comes, by loving God. All right? That's where true happiness comes from. Because by loving God, you're now doing things His way. And God is love. So that, that's what it means. Walk in the Spirit, right? And, and, the, the, and you'll produce the fruit of the Spirit. Which is uh, it's Galatians chapter 22 to 25, I think, right? Love, joy, peace. Yeah, peace, guys. How many of us want peace? Peace of mind. Right? Not feeling guilty. Uh, joy. Yes, you'll be sad. I'm not saying you will not be sad. But at the end of the day, when you think about Jesus and what he has done for you, right? That, that person, personally, how I feel. I get so angry at God, right? I don't care what other people say, other Christians, whatever. Because they're like, how oh, can you be angry at God? Whatever, man. Is a child not angry? That don't children get angry at their parents? Right? It doesn't mean you hate your parents. You just, at the end of the day, you realize your parents love you, right? And for me, the, what I go back to, revert to, is this God... In, the, in Gethsemane, Christ died for me, man. He went to the cross. He took upon sin. He drank the cup that God gave him the, 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 to take upon sin of the world and to die for that, to die for me, right? So I, I remember that. And it brings peace and joy to my heart, right? Okay, so that's my point. So the point I'm trying to get with this video is by walking in the Spirit, you produce the fruit of the Spirit. The world cannot give you that. Cannot give you that peace, that joy, the love of God in you, in your life. Also, it cannot give you that sense of that I am loved in spite of who I am. God, right? Only God can do that. Does it make sense? All right, guys. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to say about that. Uh, let me just see. Uh, I want to touch on something concerning that. Yes, that, that's basically it, right? Again, self-worth. I'm talking a lot about self-worth. Part of self-worth is doing good, right? How can you feel good about yourself if you don't do good, if you don't do genuine good works, right? And by having the Holy Spirit in you, the life of Christ in you, you will genuinely start to do good. Yes, some 20, 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, right? We all will produce different level of fruits, right? But the point is you will start doing good for the sake of doing good, not being motivated by self. And it's not easy, guys. It's a wrestle. It's a... You know, it's, it's a wrestle, <laughs> okay? You have to fight against yourself. You have to war against yourself, right? But God gives you the Holy Spirit, right? When I say war against yourself, because it doesn't mean because now that you are saved that the Holy Spirit is not there. No, it doesn't mean that. I mean that the sinful nature is not there. The sinful nature is still there. And that's the conundrum. That's the contradiction. That's the paradox of being saved. You're 100% saved. Your title is in heaven. You're a citizen of heaven. But you still have a sinful nature. So you'll be up and down. You'll be up and down, up and down. Your whole Christian walk will be up and down. So when you fall, don't think you're not saved anymore. Just repent and keep on following Jesus. Keep following Jesus. Keep studying the Bible. Keep praying. Okay? And if you're watching this and you're thinking to myself, wow, I would like that. I would like that peace of mind, the joy that you're talking about. That sense of not being guilty. Right? Reach out to me. DM me, right? Send me a message or whatever, right? And, uh, and we can talk. If that's what you want, all right? Um, and if you are a believer in Christ and you've been feeling guilty and all of that, just repent of your sins and keep following God. Keep following Jesus, okay? Sometimes it's not as easy as making it out to be, right? But if you're a genuine believer, you know what I'm talking about. And God will guide you. I know what I'm talking about. I, I've been in a backslidden state. There was a time, many years ago, I was backslidden in the world, right? And I started entertaining some funny doctrines, right? <laughs> but the thing is, by the grace of God, and God was always with me, I knew the truth. So even in my backslidden state, I was able to share the gospel by God's grace, right? Because I knew the truth. I knew what I experienced. I knew what the, the love message of Christ. I knew it. And God brought me back. So what I'm trying to say is that if you're a Christian and you're feeling, you know what? I just, I, you know, 
I don't get it, especially everything that's happening. God, where are you kind of thing? And you want to get closer to God. My motivation to you is go back to what it's all about. Go back to the gospel message, how God saved us, the love of God. Remember that. Remember what God has done for you in your life. Go back to it. Okay? I want to say that and just do what? Pray. Study the Bible. You know, the thing is, sometimes we just want to talk to people. And talking to people is good. But you have to come to a place in your life. It's you and God. You and God. You and God. All right? So, study the Bible. Pray. And you'll see. Slowly, slowly and surely, you'll get back to that where you were. And even on a higher level. All right? Let me quickly pray. Father, please speak to anybody who's listening to this video. Especially those who do not know Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Help them, my Lord, to accept the gospel and to reach out to me or somebody else who knows the truth who can maybe guide them and help them. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, make sure to get a copy of my, my, my a free copy of my book, Start With Purpose, right? Uh, the purpose of which is to help believers to um, find their purpose in God, right? And to do what? To fulfill the Great Commission, guys. I'm all about fulfilling the Great Commission because I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon, right? And with Him, with him coming back, it will culminate in us, in, the, in the, the saving work of Jesus Christ, which us becoming righteous like the Lord Himself, right? Being freed from sin completely. Oh man, that's good news for me, right? So again, uh, just click the link below to get the free copy of that, that book called Start With Purpose to help you find your purpose in God, right? It's completely free. Click the link below. And yes. So if you found any value from this video, right, please hit the, the bell notification, the subscribe button, uh, and the like button and share this right with other people uh, so they can be blessed, right? Uh, yeah, join my channel. Uh, my goal and my desire is to grow it so I can reach more people, really to reach more people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So again, if you found any value in this, if you were blessed by it, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, share button, like, in fact, I think the order is like button, subscribe button, and the bell notification. But you know what to do, right? Okay, thanks, guys. Have a wonderful and blessed day.